Please be seated. My name is Tom Lustek, and I'm the Dean of Academic Programs at the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences and your Master of Ceremonies for today's convocation. We're de delighted to meet you again to celebrate our first in-person spring convocation since 2019. Yesterday, in a memorable ceremony at the stadium, you all graduated from Rutgers University at the grand commencement event. Today's convocation may not be as grand, but we hope it's more rewarding. We get to give you a Rutgers Red Oak seedling, seedling compliments of the Cook Community Alumni Association. You get to hear your name called and get individual recognition. And we get to tell you how proud we are of each and every one of you. For you have earned your degree after a great deal of hard work and sacrifice. Congratulations to all of you on this significant accomplishment and important milestone in your life. It is now my privilege to introduce our distinguished guests on the platform. Platform members, when your name is called, please stand briefly and be recognized. I ask the audience to hold its applause until all of our guests have been introduced. Ms. Jennifer Oberzan and uh, the Gonfinelier and the 2022 School of Environmental and Biological Sciences graduate. Dr. Zania Morin, recipient of the Barbara Munson Goff Teacher of the Year Award. Dr. Francine Conway, Chancellor Provost of Rutgers, New Brunswick. Ms. Juhi Patel, Class Representative and 2022 School of Environmental and Biological Sciences graduate. Dr. Laura Lawson, Interim Executive Dean of the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences. Dr. Julie Traxler, Associate Dean for Academic Programs. Dr. Richard Ludisher, Professor, Department of Food Science. Dr. Mary Nucci, Assistant Dean for Community Engagement. Ms. Amanda Doherty, President, Cook Community Alumni Association. Dr. David Tulloch, Director of the General's Hon Honors Program. Dr. John Warabee, Retired Emeritus Faculty Member, Department of Nutritional Sciences. Dr. Makun Karwe, Dean of International Programs. Dr. John Reinfelder, Director, George H. Cook Scholars Program. Dr. Ann Gould, Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs. Ms. Melissa McKillop, Vice Dean for Advancement. Ms. Jean Fox, Rutgers Board of Trustees Emerita. Mr. Kenneth Johnson, Member, Rutgers Board of Trustees. Mr. Robert Eichert, Rutgers Board of Trustees Emeritus. Dr. Deborah Lynch, Member, Rutgers Board of Trustees. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing all of our distinguished guests. Thank you all for sharing this grand event with us. Parents and guardians, thank you for entrusting us with your bright and engaging graduates. We've enjoyed nurturing their intellects, watching them grow and develop as young professionals and look forward to their bright futures. Faculty, thank you for your essential role in educating and inspiring our graduates. And to our staff, a huge thank you 
for your unfailing care and support of our graduates. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Francine Conway, who has served as the Chancellor Provost of Rutgers University, New Brunswick since July 2021. Dr. Conway is a scholar and award-winning clinical psychologist widely recognized for her work in child psychopathology. She is a distinguished professor in the Graduate School of Applied and Professional Psychology, where she served as dean from 2016 to 2020. As Chancellor Provost, she led the development of a recently unveiled academic master plan that charts the course for the future academic priorities of the Rutgers New Brunswick campus. Dr. Conway has embraced a commitment to building a diverse and inclusive environment for faculty, staff, and students, including recruitment of faculty from underrepresented demographics and ensuring pathways to success for talented students from diverse and at-risk backgrounds. We are delighted that she has joined us today at our convocation. Please help me to give a warm welcome to Chancellor Provost Francine Conway. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Dean Lustig. Good morning, Interim Dean Lawson, deans, faculty, and staff of the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences, respected colleagues, and friends. And of course, congratulations to our class of 2022. As an educator, an administrator, and as your Chancellor Provost, I am immensely proud of each of you. But before I address our new graduates, I want to acknowledge those who have supported you as you've worked so hard to reach your goals. Our staff, faculty, parents, family members, and other dear friends and loved ones who are here today who are here for you throughout the years of your uni university work. Let's take a moment to appreciate them. I want to thank you for being here for our students. Thank you for seeing their worth and inspiring them when they needed a lift. Thank you for providing the support that enabled them to realize their potential and thank you for fostering their success. Now, graduation is a rite of passage. Throughout every human society and all of human history, communities have held rites of passages to celebrate their members' transition into a new stage of their lives. I'd like to share with you a few insights about the defining characteristics of rite of passage. Now, though it's often executed in public, rites of passage ceremonies are deeply personal. They celebrate transition periods in a person's life, but they're also about community and the community's power to bear witness to and sharing in your transition. For example, we have rituals surrounding the birth and marriages that include others. And these ceremonies are important. If anything we've learned over the past two years, how important it is to come together and celebrate. Now, our communal participation in ceremonies like this one symbolizes the power of the collective. For example, you have excelled academically because of the collective contributions of people that make up your community, our fa faculty, staff, family members, and friends. And today, we are all here to bear witness to your success and celebrate with you. As defined by anthropologist Arnold van Gennep, a rite of passage has three phases, separation, liminality, and reentry. This ceremony signifies the first phase, your separation. T 
Today is the day you separate from your former group, relinquishing your identity as a student and preparing for the new stage in your life. The third phase is the re-entry phase, signifying your re-entry into society with new skills, knowledge, and expertise. But then there's the third phase, the liminal phase, a period between separation and re-entry where you find yourself having left one period but not quite re uh, joining the next. This experience of liminality is a condition that can be met with ambiguity, anxiety, and really lack of direction at times. Although these transitions are met with mixed emotions, the celebration of finishing with the anticipation of what lies ahead, we have all experienced this and know how we can meet this moment. First, remember that you have the promise for a bright future. It's grounded in the knowledge and skills you have gained while you have been at Rutgers. And you are now equipped to go masterfully into the world and accomplish all that you have set out to do. Second, when you find yourself in a liminal state, remember the success of your past first experiences. These transitions, such as first day of kindergarten, first day of college, first day of internship. You have been successful and you will be again. Third and last, remember that you've had the fortitude to persevere. You have reached the finish line amidst a global pandemic. You have worked hard, you've overcome many obstacles. You, dear graduates, have now shed your original role and grow into a new position in just a few short years. You've learned a lot, matured, developed beyond where you possibly could have imagined. And I believe your professors, faculty, staff, friends, and families have all and can all testify to your transformation. Now you have earned your degree at Rutgers University a nationally renowned leader of academic excellence. Remember this rite of passage as you embark on this transition period. I will leave you with a quote from one of our great philosophers who said, and you will succeed. Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So be your name Boxbum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai, Ally, Van Allen, O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. That great thinker, of course, being Dr. Seuss. Congratulations on reaching this commencement. We see you, we celebrate you, and support you as you transition into your new roles. Thank you for choosing Rutgers University as your academic home. And I can safely say, along with your faculty and staff, it has been our distinct pleasure to be on this journey with you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Conway, for sharing today's convocation with our graduates and their families. I also have the great pleasure of calling on Interim Executive Dean of the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences, Dr. Laura Lawson, to address this morning. Dr. Lawson has been serving as the Interim Executive Dean of the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences and Interim Executive Director of the New Jersey Agricultural Experiment Station since July 1 of 2020. She joined Rutgers in 2010 as Chair of the Department of Landscape Architecture and has served since then in various capacities including Faculty Director of the Rutgers Gardens, Dean of Agriculture and Urban Programs, and Dean of Academic Programs. She is an established author known for her scholarship on urban agriculture community gardens, 
open space and participatory design. Please help me to welcome Dr. Lawson. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you, Chancellor Provost Conway, for the wonderful talk. And Dr. Seuss is one of my favorites, so that was a wonderful thing to add. Um, it's an honor and a pleasure to have you here celebrating this day with our graduate students, their friends and family, and we're honored that you're here. So thank you very much. Now, Dr. Conway and I whew, um, have been together on the stage a number of times in the last couple weeks. Um, and it is something about Rutgers that's quite unique in that we um, have this opportunity to celebrate you in the various communities of support and research and teaching that you have been involved in um, while you've been here. So we've seen some of you at Rites of Passage, at the Honors College event, at Douglas College Convocation, and of course at the big event at Shai Stadium yesterday. But we saved the best for last. Um, and it is truly, truly my honor to acknowledge our School of Environmental and Biological Sciences graduates today. And I want to thank you, graduates, for allowing us this privilege to celebrate all that you have done. I look over you today, and it's, you're not only beautiful, talented, smart, intelligent people, um, you are courageous, tenacious, ambitious, conscientious, and just downright amazing. So thank you very much for allowing us to celebrate you today. Now I'm just going to say it. We all wanted to be a passion puddle. And even though we have world-renowned meteorologists and atmospheric scientists among us, let's hear it for the atmospheric scientists in the room. All right. Even they could not control the weather and the predictions um, so that we came in um, for this event. We had to make the decision 72 hours ahead, and it's starting to feel like 72 hours has become like this signature of making lots of decisions, PCR tests, weather alerts, all sorts of different things. So um, just remember that passion puddle is a state of mind. And it's imprinted on your experience at Rutgers and will always be a place for you to return to. And we can make some lemonade out of the situation. The parking was much better. And uh, some of our heels are not going to get stuck in the mud. So these are good things. We can also make a lot of noise in here. So let's hear it. Let's hear those bells. All right. Spring, with all its unpredictability, is a time of renewal, a time of delight in seeing plants grow, a time of rebirth and promise. Regardless of the weather, there is an optimism to spring that aligns with what brings us all together today. For it is a season of celebration, this spring 2022. It is a busy time and an opportunity to acknowledge the wonder of all that you have accomplished and all you aspire to become. At SEBS, our spring celebrations start with Ag Field Day, a time-honored tradition of sharing all that we do with thousands of visitors who come to walk the puddle, buy plants, pet baby goats, admire well-behaved and some not-so-well-behaved dogs, um, and generally shake off the winter. Spring is also time for our George H. Cook thesis presentations, when our amazing approximately 70 scholars wowed us with their research. And of course, last Friday was our baccalaureate celebration when students received awards from their departments in Alpha Zeta, the National Collegiate Honor and Service Society for Agriculture. This year's candlelight walk around the puddle was shrouded in a misty fog. It was quite ethereal um, and was followed by celebratory um, champagne toasts and well wishes. The pinnacle of celebration is, of course, this, the SEBS convocation. To help clarify what this tradition is about, a convocation is defined simply as a formal gathering of people, which is kind of funny for us because we're not a very formal group. Um, we have dogs in our classrooms. We have our students working side by side with us, socially distanced, um, in our labs, on our farms, field stations, greenhouses, at studio desks, and everywhere. But it's an opportunity for us to 
to maybe break out of our informality, to take a pause from our busy everyday lives to focus on all that the seniors have accomplished. We don our robes, we hear speeches, we walk the stage, we wear our voices out shouting, we, we wear our hands out clapping, and it's all because we are so proud of you. So pause we will, and just look at you guys. You are amazing. So thank you very much for being here again. Convocation is also an opportunity to acknowledge the many people who have helped our seniors achieve their degrees. Parents, siblings, families, friends. We know that you have been the bedrock upon which um, our students have established their roots. So students, let's give them a hand. Let's also applaud our faculty and staff and the volunteers here today for all of they have done to put this day together and for all that they have done for the years that you've been here in terms of teaching, inspiring, and enabling the various activities that you've been involved in. So let's thank them. All right, faculty, let's have you stand in particular. Faculty? Faculty? Another gorgeous sight. Now, I just want you to know from the faculty perspective that even though for the last year or so we've only seen half your face or a black screen with your name on it, we know you. Um, we have seen you excel in your studies. Um, we have talked with you via Zoom and be in classroom and in labs and we, we celebrate everything that you have accomplished, um, so thank you. Our spring celebration also includes receiving a red oak sapling um, from the Cook Community Alumni Association, grown from acorns like the ones Dean Richardson spoke about at your first year induction um, as a metaphor for your years here. Who knew, right, that it was gonna be very different? Um, and that you occasionally trip on um, as you're on walking down Red Oak Lane. I know that I have. Um, we hope that you plant these trees and you nurture them, and that as they grow, it's remind, it reminds you of your time here at Cook Campus, or there at Cook Campus. Um, and I really do want you guys to send me pictures of the trees as they grow, because I think that they will be growing across the globe, and we'll be able to see the, the, the breadth of everything that um, you guys will be accomplishing. Now, a convocation address would not be complete without some words of wisdom sprinkled in, like the rain that's predicted. Now, at SEBS, we believe in experiential learning, learning by doing. And to quote philosopher and educator John Dewey, we do not learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on experience. Persevering, persevering through the last two years to get to this day, we've learned that attention to our physical health and emotional wellness is as vital to our ability to learn as textbooks and access to experts. We've learned that mutual responsibility is necessary to assure health and safety of all. Public health has never been so forefront in people's minds. And we are learning and have a lot of work to do with what it will take to be an inclusive community, to confront inequity, and to work towards justice. And when we came back to campus, we saw with fresh eyes the value of community, that our 3D selves, when released from the Zoom box, are often more amazing as resources to build each other up and to care for each other and to learn from each other. As we sit here today, look around you and appreciate all the good that surrounds you um, that should never, ever be taken for granted. Yes, we've learned to pivot, we've learned to adjust, We've also learned what is valuable. And it is this. It is us being together here. It is people coming together to celebrate you. And that's what's gonna bolster you um, for the next unexpected moment, the next adjustment, the next pivot, so that you can pursue your dreams. Keep these memories, these priorities, and these supports with you during challenging times that are inevitable, but don't have to be overwhelming. Look what you collectively have done. 
and know that you are built of some strong stuff that will continue to strengthen and you as strengthen and nourish you and others um, as you as you continue. And now I will end with some final thank yous. Thank you to the parents, the friends, the supporters. Without you, this day would not be possible. Thank you to the class of 2022 for your maturity, strength of character, and resilience. You are truly inspirational. Thank you to the faculty, staff, alumni, and volunteers for keeping this tradition alive and being here to support our students. I'm humbled and privileged to be your dean, and it's my hearty congratulations and best wishes, class of 2022. So make some noise. Thank you, Dean Lawson, for your inspiring words. We will now hear a recording from the Rutgers Glee Club. I'd like to address a few administrative items for our graduates. First, out of respect for those who may not feel comfortable shaking hands, we will congratulate you with a smile and well wishes. And when you come up on stage, uh, X literally does mean the spot where you need to stand for a photograph. It's actually not an, an X, but an asterisk. I'd also uh, like to offer our sincere apologies to our George H. Cook scholars, whose names were inadvertently left out of our convocation booklet. A corrected digital version is available on our school's web page. I now have the pleasure of presenting to you some of the most accomplished graduates of the class of 2022. These students are all graduating summa cum laude with a grade point average of 3.850 to 4.0. Will all the students graduating summa cum laude please make your way briskly towards the front and line up on, uh, on the ramp next to the stage. While they set up, I will take this opportunity to explain this honor. 
Summa Cum Laude is one of the three commonly used Latin honors used to indicate the level of distinction, distinction with which an academic degree has been earned. Specifically, the designation Summa Cum Laude signifies a degree that was earned with highest praise. It's the highest of the three Latin honors that also include Magna Cum Laude with great praise and Cum Laude, uh, which, is a summa, which is comprehensive. It is the highest praise and honor. First, I wish to recognize a student who, having completed all of her coursework at the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences, finishes as the valedictorian of the class of 2022. We are privileged to have several students with 4.0 uh, GPAs. Uh, if she's in the audience, would Jacqueline Mayer indicate so? So apparently, uh, Jacqueline, who is our valedictorian, was unable to be here today, but I'll describe what uh, she's being honored for. Jacqueline is a double major in biological sciences and, women and women's and gender studies, and graduates, fir graduates first in the class with a four-year grade point average of 4.0 in 191 degree credits. <laughs> she is a member of the Honors College and the Douglas Residential College and was elected to Phi Beta Kappa. She is recipient of the Chancellor Provost's Research Ex Excellence Award and has published top manuscripts in top tier journals. She completed a George H. Cook Scholars Project under the direction of Morgan James of Robert Wood Johnson Medical School's Department of Psychiatry and Nicholas Bello of the Department of Anim Animal Science. Her project, titled Using Fiber Photometry Recordings to Probe Orexin System Activation in Rodent Model of Binge Eating Disorder, formed the basis of a review and prospective article that was accepted in uh, neuropsychopharmacology. Because of her exceptional writing skills and remarkable intellectual capital contribution, Jacqueline is the first author on this paper. We are proud of all that Jacqueline has achieved, and if her tenure here at Rutgers is any indication, she's destined for great things. Please help me to congratulate Jacqueline Mayer on graduating first in this amazing class. I will now call our summa cum laude graduates of the SEBS class of 2022 to the stage to be recognized. Family and friends, feel free to cheer enthusiastically. Vida Maria Bankauskas. Anish Atul Bave. Natalia Julia Binkowski. Ethan James Black. Desiree Haley Brooks. Francesca Wuchalski, Ashlyn Marie Burns Lynch, Devin Anthony Busano, Glenn Isaac Diamond, Jacqueline Mia DiDonato. Max Dwin Skill, <laughs> Alyssa Nicole Ferdinand, Samuel Eric Fisher, Sarah Elise Florentine, 
Gabrielle Doris Gillum. Samnit Gill. Shannon Lee Heiner. Ariana Rachel Horgan. Emily Claire Hughes. Neha Vinay Joshi. Katie Elizabeth Young. Carly Jade Kiefer. Shiana Evelyn Kelly. Adam Joseph Killy. Anna Caroline Lamley. Kathleen Patricia Law. Shoshana Miriam Levy. Jeremy Anton Lewin. Daniel Rose Loripo. Or oh, Danielle. <laughs> that was Jenna Rose Loripo. <laughs> Daniel Liu. Noah Joseph Motz. Nikita Ranjit Nair. Jennifer Obrazan. Felicia Nanette Paradiso. Preet N. Patel. Sarah Frunchu, Alana Claire Pompino, Pomponio, Alifia Quresh, Nivedita Rajiv, Catherine Anna Riley. John Robert Ricciardi. Maya Rios. Aaron Sybil Rare. Eliana Miriam Shah. Amy Scheidecker. Joseph Howard Schilke. Ryan James Schmidt. Alexis Marie Cerrito. Scarlett L. Simpson. Ashley Nicole Stoop. Ranjita Suresh. Nirali Treveda, Trevedi. Taylor Lauren Viana. Julia Riley Brennan. Ladies and gentlemen, let us once again congratulate these outstanding scholars.
Our graduating seniors were also involved with and committed to making their world a better place, actively volunteering and participating in a wide range of community activities at the school, on our campus, across the university, and beyond. Some of these students deserve special recognition for their leadership and the extent of their extracurricular involvement. The Cook Community Alumni Association sponsors several outstanding senior awards to recognize students who have excelled in service and outreach to others. These award winners were selected by an independent committee at the school. I'm pleased to call on Amanda Doherty, president of the Cook Community Alumni Association to present its outstanding senior awards. Thank you, Dean Lustek. It's my pleasure to represent the thousands of my fellow alumni of our school, and especially to honor four students who, with their graduation, joined the ranks of the hundreds of thousands of Rutgers alumni who bring prestige to our university each and every day. Today, on behalf of the Cook Community Alumni Association, I am pleased to present two separate awards, the Roy DeBoer Outstanding Senior Award and the George H. Cook Community Alumni Association Award. Would Henry Velasquez and Morgan Mark please come forward to receive the Roy DeBoer Outstanding Senior Award. Henry Velasquez has been actively involved at Hellyer House, from being the social coordinator his freshman year, getting members involved with events all over campus, to being president for the past two years. He has been supervisor of the Cook Douglas Computing Labs, an author for the Rutgers Green Print, a SEBS ambassador, and a learning assistant for the Living in the Microbial World course. A McNair Scholar, Henry conducted research in environmental microbiology, he is graduating with a degree in biotechnology. Morgan Mark has demonstrated a strong commitment to the ideals of the school through her work in various student organizations and events. As part of the Sustainability Coalition, she helped write their letter to President Holloway and led to her speaking to him about Rutgers' climate objectives. She organized Students for Environmental Awareness's Climate Action Week 2020 that reached thousands of individuals through Instagram Live and other events. As president of RU Compost, she's helped convert 1,000 pounds of food waste per semester into free, usable compost. As Recording Secretary for the SEBS Governing Council and University Affairs Chair, Morgan has acted as liaison for SGC with multiple organizations throughout the university and wider community. Morgan is graduating with a dual degree in bioenvironmental engineering from the School of, from the School of Engineering and School of Environmental and Biological Sciences. Would Julia Butgerite and Nolan, Nolan Fahan please come forward to receive the Cook Community Alumni Association Award. Julia Buckerite has made her mark on the SEBS community by developing and sharing her love of food science. As president of the Food Science Club for the past two years, Julia created a food science mentoring to help pair new food science students with upperclassmen. 
She is also the social media manager for all of the Institute of Food Technologist Student Association's accounts, interacting with food science students around the country. Julia taught her own FIGS course called Exploring Food Science and has taught lessons on food science to Girl Scouts and high school students. Julia has also been a SEBS ambassador, resident assistant, writer for the Green Print, and founding president of the Rutgers Roller Skating Club. <laughs> Julia is graduating with a degree in food science. Nolan Fahan has worked hard these past four years to leave Rutgers and the world a better place. A member of Students for Environmental Awareness for four years and president for the past two, Nolan helped to organize the Rutgers New Brunswick climate strike in 2019, resulting in the creation of the Rutgers Climate Task Force and his continued involvement as undergraduate representative to it. Nolan had Students for Environmental Awareness collaborate with Rutgers University Student Assembly to pass a referendum for Rutgers to divest from fossil fuels, which the university has committed to do. Working with SEA's Sustainable Transportation Campaign, Nolan helped get the bike rental program reinstated at Rutgers. He has completed research in five different labs, including the ARISD Summer Science Program. Nolan is graduating with a degree in marine biology. On behalf of the Cook Community Alumni Association, congratulations to Henry, Morgan, Julia, and Nolan, and all the SEBS graduates. It's my pleasure to call on Dr. Mary Nucci, Assistant Dean for Campus Engagement, to present the George H. Cook Leadership Excellence Awards. Thank you, Dean Lustek. Our congratulations to the following individuals who distinguished themselves as leaders on the George H. Cook campus, demonstrated great maturity and performing outstanding service to the fellow students. We are very proud of their unselfish way in which they served others and contributed to the dynamic and thriving campus community that we call home. Please help me in congratulating the following students on winning a G.H. Cook Leadership Award. Would Divya Dubé and a Veronica Yusechi please come forward. As a SEBS ambassador, Divya Dubé spearheaded the school's first virtual No Talent Talent Show. As team lead, she coordinated social media outreach and helped develop a video program to introduce students to SEBS while simultaneously leading tours and training new SEBS ambassadors. Divya has also served as instructor in the Office of Diversity and Academic Success in the Sciences. Her research efforts include the mosaic virus excuse me, include the Arresti Summer Science Program, computational research on the cassava mosaic virus, and completion of her George H. Cook Honors Thesis. She is a junior founder of the Arresti Rutgers Undergraduate Research Journal, working her way up to managing editor where she was responsible for journal operations. Divya is graduating with a degree in biotechnology and minor in psychology. Veronica Yusechi has served as a SEBS ambassador, participating in the Spend a Day Outreach and Traditions and Ceremonies teams, a SEBS tour guide, and documenter for the Sila Belize SEBS Science Abroad blog. She was a member of the executive board of the Society of Animal Science Club, serving as both secretary and president, connecting professors, alumni, 
Rutgers Farm faculty and students. She was elected to the executive board of the Rutgers Pre-Veterinary Medicine Club, where she served as a ticket activities coordinator for events and trips to enhance students' knowledge, help them find internships, and provide students with opportunities for learning and experience. She's also conducted equine research for three years, helping to teach, train, and guide students on equine studies. Veronica is graduating with a degree in animal science. Congratulations to all the winners of this year's Outstanding Senior Awards. Each year, the fraternity of Alpha Zeta, the National Honor and Service Fraternity for Agriculture and Environmental Studies, chooses a member of our faculty for its Teacher of the Year Award. This award has been named in honor of the late Barbara Munson Goff, former director of the George H. Cook Honors Program and an Alpha Zeta alumna, who was an extraordinary teacher and mentor at our school. So reflecting the high standards of teaching exemplified by Dr. Goff and the qualities of leadership, character, and service that are synonymous with the ideals of the fraternity, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Dr. Zania Morin as the 2022 Dr. Barbara Munson Goff Teacher of the Year. Dr. Morin, would you please come forward to be recognized? This is a quote from Dr. Morin. I truly love my role here at Rutgers. I strive to make a difference, however small in the lives of each student I have had the privilege to meet. It is serving them well and watching them thrive that gives me joy. These are the heartfelt words of our Teacher of the Year honoree, Dr. Zania Morin, Associate Teaching Professor and Undergraduate Program Director for Agriculture and Food Systems major. Her teaching embraces active learning strategies that engage students and allow them to create community within the classes she teaches in the major as well as the SEBS Honors Program. In response to the pandemic, she created the Ag and Food Systems monthly social Zoom meetings, bringing together students, program alumni, faculty, and staff. For those students that started during the pandemic, this was a very successful way for them to meet others and to get to know what was possible in the Ag and Food Systems major. Dr. Morin developed a successful careers course and is currently serving on the advisory board to Rutgers Career Exploration and Success, where she helped to develop workshops that have reached hundreds of students. A two 2019 SEBS Teaching Excellence Award recipient, Dr. Morin works hard to tailor her students' educational and experiential programs so they can find their future career paths. For her, connecting students to opportunities is part of the fun of advising. Having selected her for their 2022 Teacher of the Year Award, Alpha Zeta wrote a truly complimentary email to Dr. Morin that was that included this sentence. We truly appreciate your dedication, enthusiasm, and passion in your classes and as a mentor. You serve as an inspiration for our students. This sentiment captures the essence of Dr. Morin's impact on the lives of our students. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to help me to congratulate the 2022 Dr. Barbara Munson Goff Teacher of the Year, Dr. Zania Morin. I am pleased now to call upon Ms. Juhi Patel, class representative, to offer remarks on behalf of her peers. Juhi graduates with a double major in exercise science and political science. She was the censor of the Cook chapter of Alpha Zeta and a research assistant for the COVID-19 and maternal health collaborative between Robert Wood Johnson Medical School and the New Jersey Department of Health. Juhi served as a resident assistant with Rutgers Residence Life and as an intern for two years with the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership, where she helped to plan retreat 
programs, and the MARC Conference, the largest student-run conference on the East Coast. She'll be working at a law firm after applying uh, to law schools in the fall. Graduates, I present to you your class representative, Juhi Patel. Thank you, Dean Lusick, and congratulations to the fellow members of the class of 2022. Congratulations to the friends, families, deans, professors, faculty, and mentors who have supported us here on our journey today. And a special shout out to my mom, who has answered every sad, stressed, and happy phone call, regardless of the time or day. Thanks, mom. <laughs> During last fall semester, while walking from Red Oak Lane to Hickman Hall, the lyrics to a song almost caused me to have an existential crisis outside Mabel Smith's Douglas Library, one of many I've had in my four years here. Taylor Swift sang, how can a person know everything at 18, but nothing at 22? As a freshman with a brand new bob cut, because I'm an adult now, I moved into my dorm believing I was invincible. We were about to start college, a symbol of freedom, growing up, and the future. I spent the days between orientation and move-in, learning the bus routes, figuring out my schedule, and making friends on the Class of 22 Facebook page. I was ready to start the best four years of my life. Then I had my first midterm, and I was knocked off my pedestal. I went from getting all A's and honors in AP classes, including AP Biology, to getting a C plus in Gen Bio. Talk about a reality check. This was the first of many struggles I would face, from paying my tuition's worth in parking tickets to wet bus seats. These obstacles ranged from minor inconveniences to the completely unexpected. I never expected to spend a year and a half taking classes by video chat. I also never expected to learn how to keep a plan alive. And I never expected to lose my dad before my senior year. SABS has taught me that our experiences are not about what we will do, but who we will be. The common link amongst us is how we choose to address the challenges presented. These four years have taught me that every single one of us has the power to grow, the power to dream, the power to act. It's not possible for me to fully encompass the vast number of unique experiences that we have shared here at our past four years at Cook into a single narrative. Instead, I hope that this message about the transformative nature of our school can resonate with you. When we first came to Rutgers, we began with a common incentive to learn. Learn about our chosen majors, learn about the people around us, learn about ourselves. When COVID-19 sent us home, not only did professors create virtual classrooms, but as students, we transformed our clubs and organizations to thrive on a digital platform as well. This is why I believe innovation remains a core value of SEB's academic vision. Each of us has the opportunity to continue to learn, innovate, and create. These principles make me and you a cook kid, today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Now, recognizing that I have to leave Rutgers feels like trying to catch an F or an EE bus in the beginning of the semester. Brutal and disappointing. This school has become a safe space to experiment, where getting knocked down means standing up taller, where professors have become friends, and where close friends feel like families. The struggles make the victory so much sweeter, just like the Nielsen Dining Hall cheesecakes and the opportunity to graduate today as a double major with honors. At 22, I can resonate with the song lyrics. I really don't know anything. Yes, I've learned how to complete a titration, and I can finally cook something without craft on it. However, I'm not sure who I will be in another four years. The lack of uncertainty is something that would have horrified me at 18, but now I recognize it's part of the journey. Just like these red oak saplings, we're at the beginning of our newest endeavor. Some of us will attend graduate programs. Some of us will travel to faraway cities to brave the unknown. Some of us will return home as we consider our next steps. All of us will have been grateful to make memories worth treasuring. 
Today, we celebrate our own reasons for graduating, the accomplishment of our goals. My full name is Juhi Rakish Patel. My middle name is my father's. He brought my mom and an adorable one-year-old to me to America when he had never even graduated high school himself. Today, I'm graduating college for myself. Today, I'm graduating for the struggles faced and the victories celebrated. Today, I'm graduating for my dad to have his name on a college degree as well. SEBS has fostered a community to support growth through education, creativity, and perseverance. In essence, it's enabled us to learn the skills to make our mark on the school, the, our communities, and the world. As we walk across the stage today, I want to congratulate all of us for what we've been able to achieve, and I urge you to remember your inner cook kid on your next adventure. Thank you for the honor of being your 2022 class representative. Thank you, Juhi, for sharing your journey at our school and for speaking so warmly on behalf of your peers. Our special thanks to Juhi's parents and family for supporting her and for allowing us to honor the honor of helping to guide her education. To all of the families and friends gathered here, it has truly been our privilege to help educate and guide all of the young men and women graduating in the SEBS class of 2022. We'll now hear another song from the Rutgers Glee Club. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Dean Lawson, I present to you the class of 2022, our most recent, proud, accomplished, and distinguished graduates of the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences. <laughs> Assisting in reading the names of the graduates are Dr. Julie Traxler, Associate Dean for Academic Programs, Dr. Mary Nucci, Assistant Dean for Campus Engagement, and Dr. Richard Ludisher, Professor in the Department of Food Science. And a quick reminder that out of respect for those who may be uneasy shaking hands, we'll congratulate all the graduates with a smile and well wishes. And also, you must stand on the asterisk on the stage. Summer Abdel Futah, magnum cum laude, SEBS Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. <laughs> Habiba Adil Halim. <laughs> Abir Abu Kora, magnum cum laude. <laughs> Keisha Abreu, cum laude. Jason Acevedo. 
Samantha Jane Afonso, magnum cum laude. Samir Ahmad, cum laude and SCBS honors program. Angie Amati, cum laude. Funda Achille, cum laude. Meg Crystal Akita, cum laude. Samira Aladeen. Hannah Marie Alb, cum laude. Wendelin Albuquerque. Gabriella Allay. Daniela Teresa Angrisano. Okay. Ekichuku. <laughs> Ikachiku Anyanaso, cum laude. Victoria Alex Appel, cum laude. Eleni Emily Aradas, magna cum laude. Alia Marilee M. Arsenio. Andre Martin Oscura. Nicole L. Au, cum laude. Justin Augustin. Mark Joseph Austin. Jesu Avila. Julia Aziz, cum laude. Shrivali Banerjee, cum laude. Vita Bunkowskis, summa cum laude. SEBS Honors Program and George H. Cook Scholar. Katie Flynn Beeswanger. Maggie Rose Beeswanger. Allison Marie Balounda. Robert Michael Bennett. Sophia Lydia Barrison. Kushi P. Bott. Anish Bave, summa cum laude. Jared Billig. Natalia Julia Binkowski, summa cum laude. Jessica Bixa, George H. Cook Scholar. Ethan James Black, summa cum laude, SEBS Honors Program and George H. Cook Scholar. Emma Rose Bograd, magna cum laude.
Rabia Borhan, cum laude. Timothy A. Bourgeois. Maisie Brianna Brand, cum laude. Julia Riley Brennan, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Desiree Haley Brooks, summa cum laude. Mallory Elaine Brown, cum laude. Francesca Buchalski, summa cum laude, SEBS Honors Program and George H. Cook Scholar. Jake Thomas Buchner. Quinn West Buab, cum laude. Tatiana Maria Burke, SEBS Honors Program. Ashlyn Marie Burns Lynch, summa cum laude. Emily Elizabeth Bush, magnum cum laude. Devin Anthony Busono, summa cum laude. Julia Skye Butgerite, magna cum laude. Gabriella Cano, cum laude and George H. Cook Scholar. Jonathan Marcus Cantillo. Natalie T. Cartarelli. Kenneth John Barry. Kiernan A. Bates, George H. Cook Scholar. Gabrielle Carrion Castro, cum laude. Kimberly Marie Cartagena, magna cum laude. Brianna Maria Cusario. Yvonne Castellan. Janella Cairo. Cayo. Karen Chow. Shelia Chavda. Emily M. Chen, cum laude. Jia Chen. Michelle Chang, cum laude. Brianna Lee Kiapa. Chiara. Sierra Cheramella, cum laude. Ciro. Dominic Ciro. Peter Daniel Clark. Kirsten Laura Clerico. Kojo Colcraft. Julisha Coyodo. Valerie Collado. Michael Angus Connolly.
Tun Laude. Allison Jane Cooper. Ronan Stephen Costello, magna cum laude. Ian Paul Cunningham. Amaya J. Curtis. Matthew Evan Curtis. Alexander M. Da Silva. Marlena Dant, cum laude. Anthony Tyler Darrow, magna cum laude and George H. Cook Scholar. Mahona Day. Nicholas Garrett Decker. Kayla Marie DeHogas, cum laude. Glenn Isaac Diamond, summa cum laude. Jacqueline D. Donato, Jacqueline D. Donato, summa cum laude and SCBS Honors Program. Nina Marie de Meglio, cum laude. Owen Joseph Donnelly, cum laude. Caitlin Ann Duran. Kelly Anna Douglas, magnum cum laude. Joseph M. Drummond. Divya Dubey, magna cum laude and George H. Cook Scholar. Ali Nicole Durbin, magna cum laude. Max Dvinsky, summa cum laude, SEBS Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Carly Ann Dykeman, George H. Cook Scholar. Christopher Scott Eady, magna cum laude. Richard Martin Eskerzian. No, Eskazarian? Eskazarian. Celine Egonu. Caitlin Marie Ike, magna cum laude, SEBS Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Sarah A. Canazar, magna cum laude. Alexia Michal Elbaz. Carolyn Margaret Ellis. Melis Erdogan. Melanie Kate Esquera, SEBS Honors Program. Leonardo Cristobal Espildora. Angie Ashley Espinoza Flores. Sakina Faizi, cum laude. Sarah Lynn Elizabeth Falk, cum laude. 
Anthony Fazina Jr., magna cum laude. Noah Fritz Fehan, cum laude and George H. Cook Scholar. Alisa Nicole Ferdinand, summa cum laude. Dennis Lopez Fernandez, cum laude. Sophia Fernandez. Francesca Mia Ferry, cum laude. Carolyn Moe Ficken, magna cum laude and George H. Cook Scholar. Cato Maurice Figueroa. Joseph M. Finnegan, magna cum laude. Kaylee Renee Fiorentino, magna cum laude and George H. Cook Scholar. Samuel Eric Fisher, summa cum laude and George H. Cook Scholar. Daniel Fishman, cum laude. Sarah Elise Florentine, summa cum laude, SEBS Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Kara Goldsmith Forrest. Suchetha Sandeep Gandhi. Christina Garcia. Eric Garcia. Tyler Michael Gardner, magna cum laude. Rebecca Gail Gasson, cum laude. Gerasimos Memas Georgiopoulos. Walid Imad Garaybe, cum laude. Lisa Nicole Jean Grand, cum laude. Brielle Hanea Gorel. Gabrielle Doris Gillum, summa cum laude. Tim Tiffany Gu, cum laude. Manatullah Ahmad. Ahmed Hussan, cum laude. Samit Gill, summa cum laude. Brendan Joseph Gilman. Madison Lee Giroux, magna cum laude. Julian Daniel Goodman. Riza Giannina Onyate Guevara. Samantha Sarah Guli. Robert Joseph Hill, Jr., cum laude. Kiana Rachel Gray. Artyom Gregorians. 
Nestor William Guerra Cum Laude. Tatian Guaya. Reese Hagen, Seb's Honors Program and George H. Cook Scholar. Gavin Michael Hagar. Shizuka Hamayama. Zaire Terrell Sylvain Handcock. Alexander Harms. Rebecca Harvey, magna cum laude. Umani Husson, magna cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Duff James Heitman. David Alexis Hernandez. Chantel Ejime. Shannon Heiner, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Tyler Nelson Holden, cum laude. Price Ellington Holman. Ariana Rachel Horgan, summa cum laude, George H. Cook Scholar. Cameron Conchetta Howell. Maxwell Kingsley Hoyle, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kelly Huang, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Sue Huber. Emily Claire Hughes, summa cum laude, Seb's Honor Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Erica Nicole Hughes. Emma Brooks Hunzinger, Seb's Honor Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Huda Hussein. Zaira Hussein. John Ander Ibanez, Magna Cum Laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Julian T. Ibarra, Magna Cum Laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Rachel Aaron and Corvaya. Ejemni Inofada Cum Laude. Rachel Hunter Intra Vartolia. Jahangir Jam, Magna Cum Laude. Elena Jam Baker. Oriolua Victoria James. Ivana Jaramillo, Magna Cum Laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Yeah. 
Julie Glow John, cum laude, and Seb's honor program. Katie Elizabeth Jung, summa cum laude, Seb's honor program, and George H. Cook Scholar. JJ Chang, Kim Johnson. Chris John. Nahaya Josie, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Tabriz Kara. Abhishek Kashalakar. <laughs> Carly Jade Kiefer, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Tyler James Keenan. Zachary Michael Keenan. Sianna Evelyn Kelly, summa cum laude. Russell Joseph Kevin. Fawaz M. Khan. <laughs> Hamile Khan. Adam Joseph Kielik, summa cum laude. Annie Kim. David Kim. Hyung Joon Kim. Moonju Kim. Nathaniel Yajun Kim, cum laude. Emiko Victoria Kobayashi. David Christopher Koenig. Olena Komarets. Mustafa Kolb. David Alexander Krishna. Carrie Crone, magna cum laude. Nicole Helene Lababera. Anna Carolyn Lemley, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Jarek James Lamb. Brianna Amelia La Mortacella. Holly Marie Lane, magna cum laude. Kathleen Patricia Law, summa cum laude. Aidan Leibowitz, magna cum laude. James Hyojun Lee, cum laude. Jamie Lee. Joseph H. Lee. Nayung Lee, magna cum laude. Vivian Jean Lee, cum laude. Yeah. 
Shoshana Levy, summa cum laude. Jeremy Anton Luan, summa cum laude, honors college scholar. Donia, Donia Lee, cum laude. Yajun Liang. Michaela Licolari, magna cum laude. Samantha Fatima Liggins. Corinne Patricia Lima, George H. Cook Scholar. Chin Yu Leo. Daniel Liu, summa cum laude. William Liu. Aliyah Lopez, cum laude. Jenna Rose, Loripo, summa cum laude, SEBS Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Crystal Lena Luongo Haya. Jad Issa Saloum, cum laude. Suzanne Ali. Tanay Luthra, cum laude. Brooke Heather Lyons. Kier Ma, cum laude, and Seb's Honors Program. Jennifer Lee Mackey. Divine Madakwolam, cum laude. William Anthony Magnanini, cum laude. Munsif Mahim. Marielle Malabag, SEBS Honors Program. Chris Carol Malcolm Linsung, cum laude George H. Cook Scholar. Christina Mary Malishko, George H. Cook Scholar. Kelly Therese Maniello. Michelle Maravillas. Brooke Masgo Margolin, Magna Cum Laude, Seb's Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scotter. Morgan Mark, George H. Cook Scholar, summa cum laude. Talia Martineau, cum laude. Alana Martin, magna cum laude. Stephen William Mayer, Magna Cum Laude, Seb's Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Sean Patrick McBurney, Cum Laude. Christopher Michael McGinley, Cum Laude, Seb's Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Haley Hart McGowan. Jasmine Mesaptuana, cum laude. 
Gabrielle Meyer. Nicole Andrea Mayhew. Choi Miao Young. Okay. Nicole Ann Merrill. Chiwe Miao Cum Laude. Samantha Lynn Michener. Julie Miller. Keith Francis Miller, cum laude. Sarah Milstein, cum laude, and Seb's Honors Program. Michaela Janelle Aldith Mitchell. Jacqueline Montlouis. Ashley Mora. Estefano Velacres. Ryan Morley. Safiya Massad. Robert Anthony Moskiki. Noah Mott, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Sherban Maula, cum laude. Sonia Mudilayala. Maria Camila Munoz Nunez. Marcellus Julian Murray II, cum laude, and George H. Cookstar. Thomas Samuel Blake, cum laude. Renzo Masato, Bonsignore. Clara Murta. Jenna Myers. Jacqueline Yvette Nachipucha. Nikita Ranjit Nair, summa cum laude, Seb's Honors Program. Aaron Netterfield. Page Near, Magna Cum Laude, and Seb's Honors Program. Abigail Oni Nelkin. William Joseph Nemeth. William Nguyen, Magna Cum Laude, and Seb's Honors Program. Brian Lynn Nissel. Eric Joseph Nitzberg, cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Frankie Reynolds, magna cum laude. Jennifer Oberzon, summa cum laude. Yay, Emily Lauren Ock, George H. Koch Scholar. Isamari Ochoa.
Declan Thomas O'Reilly. Camillo Orozco. Madison Lynn O'Shins. Tina Overwise. Patrick Pillay. Mansi Pandia, cum laude. Sabrina Paparella. Felicia Nanette Paradiso, summa cum laude, George H. Cook Scholar. Naomi Alexandra Parham. Abriana Caitlin Paris. Andrew Park. Julia Francesca Parker. Allison Mary Pushenik. Nicole Passariello, Magna Cum Laude, and Seb's Honors Program. Jui Rakesh Patel, Cum Laude. Meet K. Patel. Preet N. Patel, Summa Cum Laude. Rhea D. Patel. Saloni Patel, cum laude. Sneha Patel. Ushma K. Patel. Giri Raj Patel. Sandeep Kaur Patwalia. Luce D. Paul. Gabrielle Mariah Payne. Ross Colado Perez. Felix H. Peters. Tova Perlman, summa cum laude. Sarah Froyan Chu, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Christine Peloto. Carolina Placencia Guzman. Rudyard Peter Kipling Plesmid. Gabrielle J. Poliak, Magna Cum Laude, Seb's Honors Program. Alana Claire Pomponio, summa cum laude. Gabrielle Maria Papaolo. Nicole Rose Potenza. Juliet Provost, cum laude. Joseph Michael Queenan. 
Caitlin Taylor Quinn, magna cum laude. Crystal Quintuna. Daniel Baha Kizon. Olivia Koresh, summa cum laude. Zainab Koreshi, cum laude. Shira Chaya Racklin, uh, SEB's Honors Program. Devanshi Shailendra Raga. Zainab Rahman, magna cum laude, SEB's Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Keshni Rajaswaran. Nivedita Rajiv, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Rhea D. Rajpal, magna cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Parth Nitin Rajwade, cum laude, Seb's Honors Program, George H. Cook Scholar. Cassiel Ramirez, cum laude. Nicholas Krishna Ramzarup. Courtney Aaron Randick, magna cum laude. Brian A. Reales. Devin Alexandra Rekia. Isha Lankala Reddy, cum laude. Catherine Anna Riley, summa cum laude. Kyle Ryman. John Robert Ricciardi, summa cum laude. Michael Philip Ricciardi, cum laude. Jayana Christina Richardson, magna cum laude. Maya Rios, summa cum laude. Hannah Elizabeth Robinson. Brittany Lee Rogers. Jeanette Rodriguez Lugo. Erin Sybil Rohr, summa cum laude. Aliyah Sarah Ross, cum laude. Jacob Griffin Roth. Jacqueline Rosenbaum, cum laude. Lauren Stephanie Rudolph, cum laude. Anthony Ruiz. Cristal Marie Ruiz, magna cum laude. Kalina Teresa Russo. Brianna N. Ruzica. Liam Ryan. Yeah. 
Michaela Faye Ryan, cum laude. Shiraz Sacralar. Sarah Sheikh Sakir. Lauda Najwa Salam. Daniela Marie Salsi. Kayla Marie Sampaio. Malik Samora. Christine Ivan Sauerborn. Rachel Ann Skarinci. Eliana Miriam Shaw, summa cum laude and SEB's Honors Program. Amy Scheidecker, summa cum laude. Joseph Howard Schilke, summa cum laude. Marina Sharipa, magna cum laude. Ryan James Schmidt, summa cum laude, SEB's Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Nadia I. Shakir. Munveer Singh. Nadine S. Solomon, cum laude. Jessica Mackenzie Schwartz, magna cum laude. Jocelyn Alana Schwartz, cum laude, SEB's Honors Program, and George H. Cook Scholar. Akira Morgan Scott. Nardine B. Safe, cum laude. Chawan Su. Ali Suk. Alexis Marie Cerrito, summa cum laude, George H. Cook Scholar. Rebecca Schaeferman. Mustafa Sheikh. Marissa Nicole Chenal, cum, cum laude, George H. Cook Scholar. James Cialis, cum laude. Scarlett L. Simpson, summa cum laude. Magda A. Skolska. Amanda F. Slater, cum laude. Matthew Jordan Sulco. Cassandra Lee Solomon, magna cum laude. Mia Gabrielle Soricelli, cum laude. Megan Ellen Spina, magna cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Chisel. 
Chisholm P. Stanley Amadi, cum laude. Connor T. Stockwell. Ashley Nicole Stoop, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. Robert Allen Strickhart, Jr., magna cum laude. Trevor Daniel Stiles. Lee Wen Su. Ranjita Suresh, summa cum laude, George H. Cook Scholar. Samantha Zito, cum laude. Medina Tall. Nicole Marie Tang. Stephanie Tavares Tavares. Rafael Miranda Tenska. Cheyenne Rose Thomason. Michael I. Tom. Naomi Ilana Topal. Sierra A. Torney. Jennifer Tran. Eleonora Trenton. Nirali Prakesh Kumar Trivedi, summa cum laude, George H. Cook Scholar. Samantha Lauren C., magna cum laude. Lachlan Kurt Turpai. Arlie Ubiera, cum laude. Unanth V. Uchilla. Sohan Satish Ulal. Veronica Yusechi. Christian Valdez. Michael Anthony Valenzi. Jessica May Van Wee, magna cum laude. Pablo Lopez Verissimo, cum laude. Amanda Verrier. Lara Amina Vezard. Giselle Vicente. Stephanie Julisa Vigo. Wang Zhao Rei. Natalie Rose Wass. Melanie Luisa Vallejos. Henry Aiden Velazquez. Taylor Lauren Viana, summa cum laude, and George H. Cook Scholar. 
Allison Marie Voom. Kimberly Y. Wong. Nicole Victoria Vuno, cum laude. <laughs> Tiffany Wong, cum laude. <laughs> Ehan Wong. <laughs> Anthony John Washwick. <laughs> Bell Way. Keaton Lee Weedmeyer. Samantha Blair Weitzman, cum laude. Mia E. Wells. Josie Anna Marie Westrich, magna cum laude, George H. Cook Scholar. Maite Roslyn Whiteley, Whitley. Noah C. Whitmore, cum laude. Julia Marie Williams, cum laude. Rachel G. Williams. Alexandra Wolinski. Olivia Ann Woodruff. Joseph Robert Woods. Damone Marie Wooten. Travis Wright. Eugenia Wu. Catherine Wu. Yuan Xia, cum laude. Bora Yagiz. Jacqueline Shen Gank, cum laude. Joseph Sebastian Yates, cum laude. Caitlin Young, magna cum laude. Benjamin C. Young. Anne Elizabeth Youssef. Cassandra Rose Yushak, cum laude. Angela Marie Zara. Brian Anderson Zayas. Zuyun Zhang. Wanner Zen. Cum laude, George H. Cook Scholar. Ada Zhu, magna cum laude. Maya G. Zab. Ziab. Annalise Dawn Zimmerman. <laughs> Joseph Thomas Zavioni. <laughs> Anne 
Ann Young Zhao, cum laude, George H. Cook Scholar. Delaney Quinn Zubrick. Shifra Elise Zuckerman. Amina Phillip. Darian Hope Beam. Let's give all of our graduates a big round of applause. And now I would like to invite Dean Lawson to give closing remarks. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Congratulations to the family and friends here today. Congratulations to the faculty and staff. To all, well done. No matter how far your travels take you, we hope that you find a time to return to Rutgers. You've established strong roots here at SEVS, and as a community, we're all still growing and expanding our potential. Let's continue to nurture each other, stay connected, and see all the amazing things that we'll do. Please know that you have a standing invitation to come back and visit us on the George H. Cook campus and the puddle. Um, until then, though, let's focus on the present, savor the specialness of today, and enjoy it with your loved ones. Good luck and congratulations. You are amazing. The, the group at the stage will proceed down the aisle, and then class is dismissed. All right. <laughs>